Hey everyone, welcome to 996 The Howl for the Uninitiated. This is an unedited YouTube vlog discussing everything Arizona Coyotes. But today, time with the Tucson Roadrunners. And if you're an early watcher of my channel, I used to have comedic videos regarding the Tucson Roadrunners. And I needed that as watching the Coyotes in those uh, dark days and uh, days of despair. I needed some com uh, comedic relief. And the Roadrunners generally were a good team. I think in their first year, they made it to the playoffs. Their second year, they didn't make the playoffs, which was last year, I think. But the Roadrunners are always fun to talk about. They're usually pretty good. Um, making the playoffs, that was a huge story. And you have storylines like Strom and Krause and Merkley having a monster season that one year. And you always want to know what the prospects are up to. Um, just in case they get called up to the Coyotes and you want to, you know, already be familiar with these types of players. Well, this season, the Tucson Roadrunners are the best team in the American Hockey League in terms of point percentage. The way the American Hockey League does its standing, it's based on points percentage, not just total points. Due to the fact that some teams play more games than others, um, I think because of geographical reasons, they don't want... You know, those Western Pacific teams that travel too much. But anyways, the Tucson Roadrunners, 23 wins, 5 losses in 28 games. Unbelievable. They're running away in the Pacific. And just looking around the league, I mean, only the Milwaukee Admirals are even close to the Tucson Roadrunners. And uh, they're being led by two players who were undrafted, but signed by John the Monster Chica. And that is Lane Patterson and Braden Burke. Yes, both undrafted, signed in free agency. And they're point-per-game players leading the Tucson Roadrunners. Patterson with 28 points in 28 games. Burke with 26 points in 26 games. And Braden Burke was recalled last week or a week and a half ago, but got sent back down when the Cowboys acquired Taylor Hall. And I guess, you know... If you're getting uh, your job taken away from Taylor Hall, you're doing something good. So uh, hopefully Braden Burke isn't too sour on that uh, transaction and he just continues to develop in the American Hockey League. Rounding out the forwards is Andy Miele, who's been with the Coyotes before, but he's a AHL journeyman. Michael Chapu has 15 points in 20 games. Chapu, who was acquired for Jordan Wheel last trade deadline, uh, 15 points in 20 games. Only played 20 games because he was called up by the Coyotes for a couple games. And Hudson Fashin is in the top five forwards for the Tucson Roadrunners. And leading the defensive core is Kyle Capo Bianco. Love saying his name. Believe he has 17 points in 20 games. And Jordan Gross, who was up with the team, played two games with the Coyotes. Uh, he's second in points uh, for the defense. And Jordan Gross looked pretty good against the Detroit game. But it's the Detroit Red Wings. I didn't like him against the Nashville Predators. Um, but that's because he was paired with Jordan Osterley. And uh, I don't know. Those two guys really didn't have a good night against the Predators. But uh, against in the Tucson system, he's doing pretty good. They rely on Jordan Gross a lot. And it's good to see him succeed. A forward, which, which I was hoping would have more success. He's only got four goals in 27 games. It's Tyler Steenbergen. It's his first year pro, I believe. I think he uh, made it to the roster last year, but only played a couple games because his uh, OHL season ended. So I think he played a couple games in the AHL last year. But I think this is his first year pro. And I was expecting him and Nate Schnarr to, you know, produce. You know, it was fir their first year pro. You want to see some uh, development. Uh, Nate Schnarr was traded away with Nick Merkley uh, for Taylor Hall as well. Um, Schnarr only had one goal. Uh, Steenbergen has four goals. So uh, that's good. I mean, that's probably why he wasn't traded. He had more goals than Nate Schnarr. I expect Steenbergen, you know, to season and develop more. Uh, he scored the gold medal winning goal for the Canadian Juniors, I believe, two years ago. Not 100% sure on that, but I know he scored a game winning gold medal goal for Team Canada. And that's why his name sticks out to me. I hope he succeeds. And uh, the biggest story, I think, with the Tucson Roadrunners is their goaltending. Now you're all thinking, oh, Aiden Hill, he, he played in the NHL so many times. 
you know, he should be running away with the job in Tucson. He should have unbelievable numbers. But that's all a lie. It's Ivan Prozvitov, his first year pro. 10 games, 9 wins, 1 loss. I mean, unbelievable. His, his goalie numbers are crazy. He's got 1.88 goals against average. He's got a 946 save percentage. So he's saving 94.5% of the shots he faces. He's played two games less than Aiden Hill, just two games, and has allowed 14 fewer goals. Unbelievable for a first-year guy. And Aiden Hill's numbers are not too great. I mean, Aiden Hill is always, he's always had good numbers in terms of wins, losses. This year, he has nine wins and three losses, which is great. Amazing. But if you look at his goalie numbers, he's got a 907 save percentage. So he's only saving 90.5% of the shots. And he's got a 2.77 goals against average, which is when you're nearing the three mark, you know, there's room for concern. So it looks like Ivan Prozitov has taken a starting job in Tucson. Um, I'm sure whenever the Coyotes need a goalie, they'll pick Aiden Hill to not ruin Prozitov's development. But Aiden Hill's got to be scratching his head or he's got to, like, pick himself by the bootstraps because, you know, that's his job. Like, he had the number one job in Tucson. He's been, you know, slighted by Kemper and Ranta stealing and putting up unbelievable numbers in the NHL, not giving Hill any chance to take a backup position. And even in Tucson, he can't even win the number one position. So we'll see. I was expecting Aiden Hill to be uh, part of the package for Taylor Hall because the New Jersey Devils need a goalie. Um, But, I mean, they didn't decide to take Hill. And uh, Hill will continue to develop in Tucson. I don't believe he'll make a Coyotes team next year either. I mean, they recently signed Kemper to a two-year deal. And Ronta's got one more year on his deal. So I don't know what's going to go on with Hill. I just feel like he needs to put up way better numbers. Having a 907 save percentage isn't good, even in the AHL. And to have a first-year pro come in and steal your job, it doesn't look good either. So we'll see. I expect Hill to, you know, get better and just increase his numbers. I hope he does so he stays in the system. I like Hill. He's a huge, tall goalie. Reminds me of Mike Smith. Uh, He's got a good wins-loss ratio. He's just got to pump up those goalie numbers. But that's it. First in the league for the Tucson Roadrunners, led by two undrafted forwards, some good defensemen in Capo Bianco and Jordan Gross, and a first-year pro goalie in Ivan Prozitov. They'll make the playoffs this year. They'll have a deep run and get excited for them. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support.